how has that translated into producing? Because I know you've produced tons of well, shows producing, and films. You know, and producing is my passion. You know, it's like like live theater. I mean, I've done several thousand um, live theater events. You know, I, I've toured the country. I've done 81 City Tour twice over two and a half years. You know, I did my my shows in Vegas, New York, and L.A., um, so it's just, it's just about hours, right? Like they say that Ma what's it? Malcolm Gladwell says over 10,000 hours, 10, you're an expert, hours, right? Yeah. So I've had what, hundred thousand hours. I don't know what the number is, but a producing live theater. There's nothing harder than live theater. Nothing. Yeah, decades. Nothing, yeah. Nothing is harder than live theater. And if you can do that, you can literally do anything. So flip, you know, high, getting involved with a production crew that's experts at, you know, using cameras and, you know, turning it to TV or movies or is, is just easy. So I got into producing when people needed things. So where usually I would just hook things up. I'm like, oh wait, I want to. I'm going to move to California. Let me build up my IMDb. Let me get into producing. So I would help out with a movie, or I'd help out with a couple. First, it was a couple specials. Mariah Carey did a Christmas special, so we get my, my venue. Boom, you know, I'm a producer on that. Um, Pitbull needed. He was doing his first New Year's special with uh, Enrique, and it was in Florida. My friend was launching a hotel. Uh, Jay Pritzker and he uh, he was launching a Thompson hotel so we did a whole thing with them and helped coordinate that boom I produced that you know and then the gong show came online and um, my buddy at ABC and then some of the producers everyone's like this has got to be Beecher it's like <laughs> you know literally it's a variety show it's everything so like that was my first TV series that's a lot of work though a lot of work and there's a lot of people involved in that stuff it was a lot of fun it was a great experience but I also decided after that that the next thing I want to do is going to be me. You know, I I I helped out again with a couple of different productions along the way, with uh, some big names, and big people involved. But the next thing I do is going to be the Beecher documentary. Nice. But the Beecher's Madhouse, and then once that's you know my my goal has always been with that is I want I want to win awards. I want to win awards at the festivals, and I want to win an Oscar. You know, I want to win awards for that story because the story is really deep and it's really incredible roller coaster of highs and lows and I love telling it and I'm not ashamed of any of it, both the good and the bad. So once that's a hit, then, you know, let somebody play me and then we'll have a docuseries, hmm. you know. Yeah, I love that idea. That, that, that's kind of, that's what I want to do with my, my last production. I mean, it's such an American dream story, not to like sound cliche, but it, it really is, right? Just climbing the ranks of entertainment and live production and theater. I mean, it's, fascinating and yeah and it's hard you know none of, nothing you know i wish we had hours to talk about it instead of an hour but like nothing's easy you know like all of it's hard it's constant work it's constant you know networking and working and learning your craft and learning how to be a better person and learning how to lead and you know changing with the, your environment like you know let me look at corona is the best example like everything changed the world changed power changed everything shifted people moved it just everything changed and you got to change with it 